Okay, this is going to be a simplified uh, tutorial of putting your own face in the Mona Lisa's face. Now, you can see the example here, the black and white one, uh, which is a Salvador Dali uh, collage from a print of the Mona Lisa, and um, it's got his eyes and moustache attached there. Um, so that's sort of what's giving us the ideas for this. But to make it easier, I'm uh, already prepared a, a blank template. So I'm going to open this blank, temp blank template in um, Photoshop. So there we go. So there's Mona. The face is already cut out. I've used this image here. So how are we going to do this? Is we're going to find a photo of ourselves. Um, so I'm going to use, again, this one. It's an old one of me, but with no beard because it works a bit better. And um, I'm going to drag it into Photoshop to put my face in the Mona Lisa. So I drag it in and drop it. There we go. Now size wise at this stage, I think that's pretty well right. So I'm not going to fiddle with that at all. So I just click up here on the um, selection tool and it's now in position. Now I'm not actually going to edit this photo at all at this point. Um, so I don't have to worry about the fact that it's a smart object with this little um, square in the corner. But if I were, was going to edit it and if I want to, I'm just going to get into the habit of right clicking and rasterizing my layer because um, that means I can go back and do things to it. So there it is. That's gone. So I can do whatever I want with that. Now I have to get this image behind the Mona Lisa. So quite simply drag it and drop it. You can see the blue line came up and there it is behind Mona. Now obviously it's not lined up yet so making sure that I'm clicked on this layer not the top layer make sure that one's highlighted there. I'm just going to use the move tool and um, I can move into position. Now I might want to play around with the positioning a bit better and maybe with the size so in this case, I'm going to go Edit, Transform, Scale. There's my original picture. And I'm just going to shrink it down a little bit in size, just so it fits in a little bit better. I can move it back to get it where I want. And maybe a fraction smaller. There we go. Get rid of that. And there is my very simple... Um, Mona Me. Now I'm just going to go to save that, so I'm going to go File, I'm going to go Save As, and I want to save it as a um, JPEG file. I'm going to give it a new name. I'm going to give it Mona Me Simple Version. Save it, um, saving it as a JPEG. It's there, and I'm going to hit save. Give him my options there. And there it is. There's the open it in preview there. So there's my simple version of uh, my face in the Mona Lisa. So that's a really quick, easy, and simple way to um, appropriate the Mona Lisa and put your face into it without doing too much to it. You could match the color a bit better before you saved it by going image, going um, adjustments and um, color balance, and maybe make the face a little bit yellower or orange, maybe a bit of red in it, just so it sits in a bit better if you want to. You can do the same with the highlights. Now it's starting to look a bit closer. And even your shadows, take them up. And hit OK. And that way, we've made it a little bit closer. So I'm going to save that one again. Yeah. As file, save as. I'm going to use the same name, and I'll call it simple version 2. The color adjustment save. So that's just taken it 
uh, a little more into the um, advanced realms. Still a very simple uh, task and a quick and easy way to get your photo in Mona Lisa's face. <laughs>